Yeah, what's up, man? Boxing Combo getting at you with that uh, fight that I just saw. You have to see TV, too, man. Uh, hear it. Uh, some good fights in Mexico, some good Mexican fighters. A bit of it. That's about it, you know. Well, uh, can't put that out. Before I start talking about all this, uh, let me get a cold beer here. Damn. So, uh, okay. The fight. I don't know, man. It's it's a tough fight where I think I think uh, it was a. Uh, I, I think I was seeing Timothy Bradley winning two rounds, even though in the first round uh, Bradley did get caught with a good punch. It was a good straight fight, I believe, from uh, from uh, Nate Campbell. Real good fight. Um, after that, but I think Timothy Bradley took the punch, uh, well, I think if it would have moved on in the rounds, I think Timothy Bradley probably would have won, but it was still a good fight. Um, Nate Campbell did get a headbutt, and what I can say about the whole situation is that we need to do it like football does, and we need to go back to the replays, because it's not fair, it's not fair in any way to just put a technical knockout on a boxer that, you know, this is life, boxing, it, it, it depends on what he does in the ring, you know, in his record, and every time, you know, when you get another loss in your record, it makes your record look bad, so, um, you know, in boxing, this is one of the sports that every fight is a do or die thing, so to give a guy a, knock, a technical knockout just because the referee thinks he saw, so I, I saw the headbutt, I mean, I don't know if the referee saw the punch after the headbutt, and then the blood coming out, that's what the referee was saying, Mendoza, but I think it was the headbutt, and, uh, that's you know I just saw a headbutt I, I I do think it, it was a headbutt but uh, Timothy Bradley said he was seeing some spots in his eye where he couldn't see through that eye I think uh, I think you know it probably was saying that just to get this fight stopped because it was a smart thing to do because if you have a cut in that a cut on top of that eye like that uh, if the rounds if the rounds keep coming that thing is going to get worse. And that's going to be a disadvantage for um, for uh, Nate Campbell. So it was better off to stop the fight right there and then because of the headbutt so it could be a no contest. I think that's what he was thinking. But the thing is, it, it came out all wrong because now it, they just gave him a technical knockout. And I doubt that's going to be switched. And they're already saying, you know, Don King and them, they were asking Timothy Bradley for the rematch. But he like, he like um... Uh, they're just, uh, you know, they're just, uh, they're saying like, okay, we'll do the rematch, but now you got to pay them more money. So you got to pay them more money, but now is it worth it? You know, is people, people, or people want to, are going to want to see the rematch? Do people really want to see that rematch? Uh, is it going to be that interesting? And on top of that, they have to pay. Uh, Timothy Bradley more money. It, it, it's it's a difficult thing, you know. It is a business, so um, I don't see any problems with Nate Campbell. I mean, I don't see any problems with Timothy Bradley taking a rematch because, like I like I think, um, I think he could win. You know, even if it went long or on throughout the fight, I think he was gonna win. But we never know. You never know what can happen. You know, uh, Nate Campbell could catch him with what good punch, what good punch, and knock Bradley out or something like that. It can happen, but uh, we ain't seen nothing. Uh, anyhow. Was it, you know, it was good while it lasted. It was an action fight for those two rounds, and Bradley was really bringing that action, even though they were tying up too much. They were always, you know, just getting tangled, and the whole tying up thing was kind of boring. But other than that, it was a good fight, and I do think it should be a rematch. It, it would be good to see a rematch. At least I don't know what interest that would generate in the boxing community, but at least I liked it, and I would like to see a rematch. Um, and in the rematch again, I think Bradley could win. Anyway. During that fight, which I'm watching now because I recorded it, because um, I just got here. Anyway, they give it a good documentary on HBO of Billy Collins when he when he fought Louis Resto back like in 1983. And uh, wow, uh, I mean, I heard about that because I'm usually talking to older cats, you know, about boxing back in the day. But uh, I heard about that where uh, Louis Resto and his co and his trainer. They, they put, you know, certain stuff in those gloves to make it rock hard. And he beat the living crap out of Billy Collins, who was undefeated. After that, got frustrated. He, he, he beat on his wife. He started drinking. He crashed his car. People say it was probably a suicide. It really messed up his life. And at the same time, it messed up um, Resto's life. You know, I think he really got frustrated. And on top, because he was suspended for life, and he went to jail, him and his trainer, for two years. 
Um, now I'm thinking, this guy went to jail for two years. He was suspended for life for boxing. The trainer was suspended for life. Uh, he can't train no more. Um, so what's up with Margarito and his trainer? I mean, they, they caught him with plaster, or something that really gets hard in there. It, it turns rock hard. And, and on top of that, you're a boxer that you, you have a good punch anyway. So, like, if you're a boxer and you can hit hard and you're using something like that, it's like you're hitting someone with a bat. You know, you can act, you can really kill someone. So, they give Margarito one year suspension. Like, that really means anything. That's He's been a year without fighting before. Before he fought uh, Josh McClotty, he was off for 10 months. Almost a year. And, you know, and now look at it. He's suspended for one year. But even Mosley hasn't fought for the same amount of time. I think by the time Margarito gets to fight again, still Mosley hasn't fought. So it's like they suspended Mosley at the same time. One year suspension, that was just a bunch of crap. You know, I think Margarito, I did respect him a whole bunch. But if they caught him doing that, in, in, in my eyes, that is cheating. That is putting the life of another boxer in jeopardy. And you only get a one year suspension, man. They should have suspended him for life. And that's just the way it just the way shit go down for any boxer, any boxer from any country, man. You get caught doing something like what Margarito did or what Louis Resto. Well, Louis Resto is Boricua. I think he was born in Puerto Rico and raised in New York in the Bronx. Um, when you're caught doing those type of things, you should you should be um, suspended for life from the boxing game, and you probably should do some some time in jail too. And I heard some um, some boxer like the year 2008 or something fighting uh, fighting in uh, England or something. I think the guy. Who was fighting in England? He was he was a guy. Uh, he was from Africa, I believe. I'm not sure if he was from Africa, uh, but he he was black and he was fighting in England and he was fighting some guy. And his own promoter found out that his guy uh, had uh, plaster. I'm, I'm talking about the guy that I think is from Africa. Um, anyway, the guy was suspended for life. You know, I, I, if anyone knows more about that, let me know. That was like in 2008. So Margarito suspended for one year. I don't get that. And I'm watching this documentary and seeing this guy was suspended for life and went to jail for two years. And uh, I don't know, man. Anyway, that's my thoughts on the whole situation. And I hope I do get to see a rematch, Kendall Holt uh, and uh, Nate Campbell. But uh, Kendall Holt, my back. Uh, Nate Campbell and Timothy Bradley. But Timothy Bradley was honestly doing a thing for those two rounds. So I kind of gave him those two rounds anyway. Um, rematch? I think so, you know. Peace, man. Hey, peace. Shout out to everybody out there. Uh, Voice of Vendetta. I feel strange saying Voice of Vendetta because, you know, I know you have riddle. Voice of Vendetta, Blood Boxing, Rough 97. Everybody, everybody out there, man. Um, Carlito, the whole crew, everybody, man. Catch you on the next one, man.